We went to Thietball in uh, France today and we learned about a soldier named William McFadgen who um, was really brave and him and his pal were taking a box of grenades over in the trenches and his friend slipped and two grenades came out and the pins came out. You can imagine the panic in the trench. When the grenades fell out and the pins came out, the other soldiers were <laughs> went back in horror. The guy who was running didn't realise what had happened, but Willie saw it. And by the time, of course, he'd come to his senses, there were only five seconds left. So Willie McFadgen had five seconds to decide what he was going to do with these grenades. He threw himself on top of the box of grenades and was blown to bits. He died to save his pals. Only one other person was slightly injured in the leg. If that box and all the other grenades had gone up, had blown up, everyone would have been killed in that area, more than 30 men. To think that that, that guy was only five years older than myself, it's um, quite an inspirational story, if not quite morbid as well. Um, I personally think I could never do that. I would, I would run. I would, I would run and I'd never look back. Well, Thietval Memorial is, there's a place where all the missing soldiers and it has all the names and there's so many, I think there's 74,000 about. And up where the Highland ones were, I saw my great, great uncle at the top and it was just so amazing. I couldn't believe it. Private Donald MacLeod fought in the 5th Battalion of the Seaforth Highlanders and he was killed on the 14th of November, 1916, the day after the battle was cancelled. The chances are he could have been injured beforehand and died of his wounds, and then somehow his body was lost, perhaps from shelling. But he survived to the very end of the Battle of the Somme, and then he was killed. So it's appropriate today that Ellen is here with her relative and she is supported by you, her pals. I laid my cross and I put a wee message on it and then he played some music and we had a minute silence and it was really lovely. To be able to go and see all the names on the walls, it's just, it just humbles you. It really hits home, like what, what you're here for. You'll see sometimes a list of names that says maybe uh, J Smith served as W McBride, served as. That means that soldier gave an alias, a wrong name, probably because he was underage. Many of them, I have no doubt, will be related to you. So you are among your own ancestors. I was greatly touched to see my own name on the um, stones. It kind of showed me that it could have been any of us that were there and missing, and it, it's just bad luck and war that's put these men in their names being engraved in that stone. Oh my, I don't want to die, I want to go home.